Then you'll be a royalty. <laughs> As you can, I'm not too sure if you can see anything because it's kind of match the, uh, you know, the ocean water. Yeah. But there's a net. I can see the net. If you look real good, yeah. there's a net that is that is being thrown out like this. It's because this area here have this type of fish. There's a big school there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I when I go when I go to the ocean now the water or the ocean is not is calm enough where you can handle it, you know, handle yourself. But some but that type of fish they always hang on where it's really rough. So when we go down to the beach Especially when there's, uh, I don't know if you feel familiar or ever been down at the beach. Uh, there's a couple of islands out there. And, and that's where that, that type of fish hangs out. Oh. And we go out with a boat and, uh, and we swim to the island with our, with our net. And the net is a throw net where you throw the net over a school of fish. It's like, an example. Now, I'm just using an example. For instance, all you folks here is a, is a school of fish. Mm -hmm. What I do, I prepare my net and I sneak over to the school of fish, mm -hmm. you know, and then if I can, if I can open a net from here, okay, to you and cover you all up, okay, that's what I'll do. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I wish it was down at the, at the Hukela Beach so I can show you how it's done. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of you can go and gather, you know, if it was dry, mm -hmm. okay, you know, you go on a grass, either sit down or whatever, and then I picked up an net and I'll, I'll try to throw it over you. <laughs> and, Do you have a rope on the net to pull it in? And you and me or is it moving? Yeah, most people have uh, a long cord. Yes, and um, um, but the thing is this although you have the cord on the net, but you cannot pull it. It's because there's a lot of coral, mm -hmm. and your net is all tangled on that coral. Mm -hmm. So what you might have to do now, it works two ways. If you look at the ocean, if you can handle it, and go in and get your net, okay, then you throw it. If you cannot, just forget it. So we come back another time. Oh. Okay, that's you what have, it is. You have to go in and get your net. Yeah. Hmm. It's because most of the most of the fish is at the, you know where they have coral, right around the coral, and you have to go in if if you don't mind your net getting all tore up. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know it's up to you. Then you just pull it. Just put it and I think it'll be all, uh, you know, the thing is going to be broken. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go home, and either, either throw the net away, mm -hmm. then, then you need, okay, before you do anything else, you need to learn how to repair your net. Mm -hmm. And I have learned that. I have put many nets together, and it's because of this man here. This man here, he taught me everything about about preparing myself in regards to fishing. And um, now, I was a young boy at the time when he showed me. And there was some time that I, uh, 
I had a DD with a pin and Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you. You know, sometimes I have different thoughts in regards to, you know, the things that he, he did for me or try to do it. Now, uh, they didn't have this kind of corn here. It was a plain, uh, you know, cotton cord like, yeah. Uh-huh. But now they have this type here, and it's really, really good. Do you need a volunteer to get another? Yeah, we need a volunteer. You sure now? Yeah. Well, that's up the dude for the picture, Okay, the thing is this. Now you. like uh, you know we can make a circle like mm -hmm. around a school of fish 